I went back and did the day with Lone Star Grills, and today we're gonna do a barbecued meatloaf, and we're gonna smoke that on the Lone Star Grills 36 inch pellet smoker. So I said barbecued meatloaf, this isn't gonna be a normal meatloaf. Uh, well, in the grand scheme of things, everything here is fairly normal, but two things are gonna set this apart and give it that barbecue. Uh, number one, we're gonna smoke it, and number two, instead of using a traditional ketchup or tomato sauce, uh, we're gonna use my wife's homemade barbecue sauce here. So everything else about this is uh, fairly simple. We got three pounds of ground beef. We've got a cup of chopped green onions, half a cup of panko, red, panko breadcrumbs, a half a cup of uh, barbecue rub, and then we got two eggs here as a binder. So we're gonna go ahead and put everything together here. We're gonna mix it all up. Just to put everything in. So for this, we're gonna set the smoker up, and we'll be out there in just a minute, but we're gonna set the smoker up at 275. Normally, if I was cooking this inside the house here, I would cook it at 325, 350, but we want it to pick up that smoke, give it a nice smoke ring, give it a nice smoky flavor, and I'm also gonna use mesquite pellets, which are gonna give it a nice smoke flavor. If I was smoking something for a really long time, I'd use something a little different, maybe like a, a fruit wood, a cherry, an apple. But since this one is gonna be for a shorter time and we want it to pick up a lot of smoke flavor, we're gonna use that mesquite pellet. So just get in here, get everything worked together, get all the ingredients mixed up. The other thing I did, and we'll see that in just a second, is I took a piece of foil, heavy duty foil, and I folded it up couple of times that's going to help us get this loaf on and off the smoker much easier all right so I'll bring it over here transfer it to this cookie sheet so I can kind of form it into a loaf you could also do this in a loaf pan but it's not gonna pick up any of the smoke flavor. And for this smoked meatloaf, barbecue meatloaf, we wanna get all three sides to be able to penetrate the smoke or the smoke to penetrate those three sides. So we're gonna do it on this foil. We're gonna set the foil actually on the grate and the foil is just to make it easier to transfer so that we don't have any accidents getting this on or off. So I've got that nice and even there. Looks fairly tight. So now that we got the loaf made, we're gonna set this in the fridge for maybe an hour or so, just so it tightens back up. So everything kind of congeals together, uh, help firm it up even better. And we'll be back with you in just a minute when we get out to the smoke. All right, so we're back. It's been about an hour or so. This has been resting in the fridge just again to tighten everything up so it stays nice and firm. Um, Got the smoker running at 275. Got some nice blue smoke rolling out the top here. And so without further ado, we're gonna get this on. And here you'll see why we did that foil to help make this a little bit easier. That way we can just slide it on there as one piece, but it's nice and flat. So any of the grease will still drip off and run away. So we're gonna go ahead and get a meat probe in here. We're gonna to wanna to cook this to about 160, 165. Um, we're gonna keep an eye on it on our app there so that we can come back and put a glaze on it just before we're ready to pull it. So when we get ready for the glaze, we'll come back, we'll show you what temp we're at and we'll go from there. All right, so about an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes have gone by. We've been running at 275 on the pellet smoker here. Our meat probe is inside. We're right around 160 on the internal temp. Uh, color is beautiful. Uh, texture, or not texture, firmness. It needs to go just a little bit longer. But it is time for us to glaze this. So let's uh, get this glazed up. And this is the same barbecue sauce that we used earlier. That's what we're going to glaze it with. We'll take a look at that up close and see what, how beautiful that looks. The color that it's taken on, the smoke that it's taken in. Now, I thought I had a fancy paintbrush here to do this, but I don't. I can't find it. 
kids use it for our class, I don't know. So we're gonna go ahead and just use this spoon here and kind of slop it on and do the best we can. Get this covered here on the front. Very nice. So we're gonna let that keep going. Uh, another 30 minutes or so, give or take. We'll come back and check on it. We're also gonna watch that internal temp, uh, make sure we get it right where we want it. Uh, done this, it's done, it's been done for a long time. 125, 130, that's done for me. But uh, the texture that we, not, that we want and, and the tightness that we want on that to hold that together as a load is what we're looking for on this. So again, we'll come back, um, we'll pull this, we're gonna let it rest, and then we'll show you the finished product after it's rested here in just a little bit. All right, so now we've pulled the meatloaf. We've taken it off the smoker. It's rested for about 15, 20 minutes. Uh, we used that piece of foil that was under it to very gently slide it off of the grate, apply it on the cutting board. I've removed the foil from the cutting board. You can see what a beautiful mahogany color that that's taken. That glaze is really set really nice. You can see the smoke color on the whole entire meatloaf here. So without further ado, we'll go ahead and cut into this and see what it looks like. So look at that beautiful smoke ring that it's taken on here. The texture is very firm, uh, cooked through perfectly. Uh, again, we went to 165, closer to 170 on this guy here. Um, there's no real set rule on that. You know, I like to shoot for 160, 165, but you can kind of check as you're going. Check the firmness of it. Make sure that it's nice and done all the way through. That way, when you slice into it just like this here, it stays together really nice and tight. And again, this recipe here is um, ripe for improvement, substitution, subtractions. Um, like all the stuff I do, there's nothing set in stone. Um, if you didn't like something that I added, try something different. Use your favorite rub with it. Um, if you want a little more heat, add something with some heat to it. Uh, you want some more sweet, add some honey. Add something that'll give it a little bit um, uh, give it a little bit more sweetness to it. For more information on our pellet smokers, more videos on us cooking on all of our products, check us out at LoneStarGrills.com. You can give us a call at 936-494-3477. And don't forget to like and subscribe this video uh, for more information on other videos soon to follow with us cooking on all of our great products.